Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for watching me uh, uh, the, for the, fo the dental photography. Perhaps you were uh, here yesterday also. There was uh, Milos, he's a friend of mine, and I can say we tell the same story about dental uh, photography. Dental photography is coming more and more uh, uh, important in the practice, and uh, I hope I can uh, tell you something about it. And uh, perhaps later we have a small uh, uh, minutes to, uh, to ask me some, some questions, otherwise you can have my flyer, I have it with me in English and German. Uh, First question, what I always hear, uh, why can't I take the, the, the pictures with my telephone? It's, it's, it's good. I'll show you a few minutes later on why it's not so very good. But better a photo with your telephone than not a photo at all. That's what, my, what I said. I'm a dental technician, uh, photo photographer, and I'm doing this now for six years, uh, especially in Holland, but also abroad. And uh, I give explanation about the, the, uh, and advice, and I'm uh, independent. Um, I, also, I will always ask the first question when I come on a location with dentists and their assistants, are you satisfied with your pictures till now or uh, why did you ask me uh, anyway? Uh, so uh, you don't have to make a, a art of it, but uh, it must be better than what you see there in the right. This is no, no info at all, that's uh, very ancient. Um, and I always ask the second question, on Monday morning, is your camera ready? Is there a card in it which is empty and is there a battery in it which is full? And that's the main thing to take pictures. Um, are you taking them themselves uh, or your assistants or is it, what is what you want? When I give my lecture on location, they are always, uh, the, the dentists always want to uh, 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 take care that their assistants take the same uh, pictures in the same way. So perhaps uh, I say eight pictures, and then uh, must, it must be the same as the colleague assistant will do. And um, what's the value? Why should you take? Why should you take pictures at all? What's the value of good, good pictures? Well, at first, it's communication with your patient. Um, uh, I can't read <laughs> what I want to say, but uh, this, I'm going to step a little bit aside so you can uh, look there. Um, it gives you uh, uh, communication, good communication with your patient, and uh, it can help uh, you uh, with uh, talking about the uh, next things to come. And I think you all heard of the DSD, Digital Smile Design. It's coming up uh, very uh, fast with good photos and some videos. Um, it's good, it's very nice, and it will be uh, expanded over the world as well, but don't promise too much. Digital Smile Design, this is what it does. It's, I, uh, you, I think you all heard of it. And um, it's a design, it's planning making, it's presenting to the patient uh, and produce the things you want to do and control it. This is the kind of pictures I like to see. Uh, I'll more, take more, uh, I say more about it in a few minutes. Uh, I said, what's the value of m making pictures? It's also communication with your colleagues. Uh, the, the surgeon, uh, the ortho uh, uh, colleagues, then you can always uh, give them a, a good uh, photo of your patient and give it to the, uh, the surgeon in question. And what I always say is try to take uh, the photos as uniform as possible, the same distance, etc., and the same camera settings. This is like an ortho picture on 45 degrees. It's also communication with your technician. Um, you, when you perhaps want to say, uh, when you want to uh, make a crown and it must be the same as the opposite, uh, uh, then you can make uh, a picture of, of it. Sometimes patients uh, want to say, uh, have a picture of their own and they say, I want to have my teeth like, uh, like I was before. So this a picture is always good for communication with uh, your patients and so on with your technician. Here um, you see uh, a picture taken for colors uh, to, to uh, choose your color. Does anyone know what's wrong with this picture? Yes? Do you know what's wrong with this picture? Not a color. It's, 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 it's okay, but not a color. But what's wrong? If you take a picture for taking colors, do take the number with it. It's better. Then the technician can see what you mean. Also, uh, the pictures are very good for planning and evaluation uh, and uh, for your uh, documentation and archive, etc. Sorry, you want to take a picture of this one? Uh, okay, I, you can. You can. 
Yes? And also for the marketing of your own uh, uh, company and uh, for presentations like this, is of course, um, uh, good pictures are nice to, to handle and to give in your presentation. Like this before, this is also very nice. We, this is our, our regular pictures. But when you go on the internet, you can all uh, see uh, pictures like this. This is not about treatment, this is about uh, art. And uh, it's also nice, nice to do. Uh, it's very upcoming, uh, this kind of uh, uh, photo photography. In Holland, we have uh, very um, rules, very uh, strict rules for uh, privacy of the patient. If you take a picture in your location, the picture cannot be moved out of your, that location uh, uh, without permission of the patient itself. And therefore are also special uh, uh, medical apps like these three. And uh, you only can uh, d uh, work with this app uh, with your number, uh, with your uh, dentist number. And so it's a little bit safer than just email it or WhatsApp it. Okay, a little bit of technique. Um, I always like to work with a DSLR. It looks heavy, but it's not. It's not really not. Of course, you can take pictures with a uh, doctor's eyes or a Shofu has a nice uh, uh, camera. They're lighter, very much lighter. But, uh, well, I think better pictures can be taken with a DSLR and not on green. You know what green is, of course? Automatic. On automatic. Never on automatic. Why? Then you, then you give you the, all the rules of a picture, you give it to the camera. And, but you want to rule it yourself. That's better. Full frame or crop, I would say start with a crop camera. That's the sensor is a little bit smaller than uh, the, the full frame. And I think for the depth of field in your pictures will be greater, longer, with a smaller sensor. So that's a little bit, you don't have to buy very expensive equipment. It's not necessary to make good pictures. You need good cards, that you, that's what you need. Um, I always advise when you have a good camera body, not so expensive, the most important thing, most important part is your lens. And it doesn't, uh, well, it's not going to be a zoom lens, it must be a, what do you call, a steady lens. A 100, 100 millimeter is good, this one is 90, is also good, 105 sometimes, but no zoom lens. I will show you why not. This is taken, this person is taken with a 200 millimeter, and look what it does when you change every time your, uh, your lens and take the same picture, the same composition. Look what happens to his face. You see? And 16, 16 is your phone. That's why I say don't take pictures with your phone in dentistry. Only if you have nothing else, then it's good. But this, this is what a, a different lens is doing with the uh, deformation of your face. So you can understand if it does with your face, it, it also does it when you're close with the bow of your teeth. It's the same uh, disformation. What does a good picture need? Every picture, if it is your holiday picture or it is dental picture, every picture needs good lightning, good composition, and sharpness where you want it. This is bad composition. Very bad composition. You see the lip over the teeth. This is uh, no good with color, etc. JPEG or RAW? Anyone known familiar with that kind of thing? It's the way you put your uh, photos uh, on the uh, SD card. Uh, I myself do both, but I think in, dent in uh, your dental practice, uh, JPEG will do. RAW pictures is, is nice, but they're very big. It takes a very uh, 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 space on your a card and on your server, so better take it, uh, pick your pictures in JPEG. Every picture has uh, uh, these three uh, uh, items, ISO, shutter speed and aperture. I'll uh, try to explain it in a few minutes. I hope uh, it's not too technical. If you take a picture with uh, uh, a half a second, you, can, you get this. If you take a picture in one five hundred second, you get uh, 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 no movement at all in your picture. These uh, flashlights, they are uh, happy with 125 seconds. 
So not 125 seconds, but 112 uh, part of a second. Yes? That's what I like mostly. So that's manual. You put your camera on manual, put it on 125 seconds. And when you leave it open, the curtain, it's ten, uh, for instance, if you, you see the light coming in here, there's a little curtain for it. It goes up, uh, open and closes. And so that's uh, the, the, the 125 seconds. If you do it 10 seconds in the evening, you get pictures like this. Diaphragma, that's the opening of the lens. I can, uh, I can take your picture of you with the lens fully open, but I can also take a picture of you with a small hole. Can you see the difference between those t two, these two pictures? I'll tell you, but, but perhaps you see here it's no sharpness and there's no sharpness. And here is sharp, almost everywhere sharpness. That's because I've taken the picture with a small diaphragm, almost as small as possible. I'll show you with a prothese. This is taken and, sh and focused on the, the central uh, elements with uh, a large opening of the lens. And every time I close the lens a little bit more, look what happens. You see? And when I come to 26, I have the whole bow very sharp. And that's what I want in dentistry. I want a lot of depth of field. ISO, one of the three you saw, uh, you saw uh, before, ISO is uh, almost uh, every time as low as possible of your what your camera can do. Mostly 100 will do. Sharpness, out of focus. Um, will you do it uh, automatically or will you do it by hand? I myself prefer to do it by hand, so taking the, the composition like this and uh, when I do this I can uh, focus myself and this uh, lens has a, a nice thing. You can almost, now it's automatic like this. When I turn now it's not, uh, nothing changes and so it changes in my own way of taking sharpness in the picture. How am I doing quite time? Oh, it's good. But when I focus automatically with this camera on the patient, it's probably that he will focus on the central. That's, that's normal. The, and you hear beep beep, you take your picture, and it's uh, sharp till the first, uh, 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 well, till there, the premolar. That will be sharp. And after that, it will be not sharp at all. So what will I teach in my lectures and in my workshops? I teach him to focus on the cuspidat, on the third one. And then the whole depth of field is going backwards, it's going into the mouth more. So when you do that, you have more elements uh, sharp than in the further, in the, uh, what I shown you before. You clear? Is this clear? This is very important that you, uh, when you have, when you take your picture with a small diaphragm, you, you get a lot of depth of field. but. Uh, take care that you will sharp and focus on the cuspidat. That's the best. So the whole sharpness is going a little bit further in the mouth. White balance. Only set it once in your uh, camera and that's on flash. Why? Uh, you work with the flash. And when the camera is not going out of your uh, uh, practice, let it stay on flash. When you take it every weekend away with, uh, for holidays or for home photography, uh, set the white balance on automatically. You can never uh, make mistakes. Because the white balance uh, 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 takes the, 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 the different, makes it different colors with different light. Every light is different. So when you have it in your system on the wrong way, you will, ha you will get blue pictures or whatever. And that's, that, that is not what you want. A protocol. Um, in your practice, it would be nice that everyone uh, would take the same pictures uh, and in the same way. I'll put this away. And this is the, 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 the camera settings. Manual, 125 seconds. And uh, focus uh, 22 or higher, that's no problem. And ISO 100. And um, this is a Canon, but it's all, also all for Nikon or Sony or whatever. No, uh, nothing uh, else. Well, uh, now I'm here with, um, uh, on invitation of Jacobi uh, mirrors. I always uh, uh, 
give my lectures and workshop with this mirror. It's wonderful, and it's, uh, you can find it on 10.4, I think, I don't know exactly. There's, when you put it on, you get light in the mouth, and you get a, a, a little air over the mirror, so it doesn't fog up, and it is very handy for the person, uh, for the patient in the chair. When it's in the chair, you place the mirror, and then just, they can take it over. It's very handy. There are no fingers on the, on the mirror. So this is very, very uh, uh, nice to, uh, to work with. Um, retractors. You saw the picture of uh, the colors way, way back to, uh, to make colors. It was made with a retractor behind the teeth so that you don't see all the tongue, etc. And that uh, makes, makes pictures better and nicer to look at. Retractors, you all know them, I think. Perhaps you don't know the black ones. You can find it at Milos. Uh, Milos is at the same booth as uh, Jacobi at the moment. You have the round one. You use it in the front and not take it to the back, but to the sides. And you have the sharp one, and you can do it to the, um, the side of your face, the, the side elements, like this. This is uh, uh, not activated, and this is activate uh, till it hurts, I always say. Take it till it hurts, like this one, and like that one. And so you can um, do the same with this retractor, as uh, the mirrors, with, which are always, uh, which all you can use for the side, it's the same effect. But if you use mirrors, use clean mirrors, because the cameras these days are so good they can focus on the scratches on the mirror. So that's very disappointing. Then the scratches are sharp, but your elements are not sharp at all. So take care that your mirrors are clean. Oh, I have already said it, but always use two. Never use one retractor. Always use two. You get uh, strange pictures when you only do it like this. This is going down, and it is uh, not, not nice to, to look at. So always use two retractors. And also, take care that you are right in front of the patient. When the patient comes in, and it is a baseball player, don't, don't make your pictures like that. Hey, I make, stand over there, I make a picture of you. Or a little child, like this. No, take care that for the extra oral pictures, this is right on the same line, it's horizontal. It must be horizontal. So either way, the baseball player is going to sit, uh, or the child, or and with the child, I'm going to sit myself. So that's main. Take care. This is horizontal. And you saw what I did. When you take the extra or the, uh, extra oral pictures, you take pictures like this. This is how you make portrait pictures, not like this. This is for intraoral. It's the same. Uh, this is also the same for intraoral. When the patient is in a chair. Take care that the line of the lens is going straight in the same way as uh, the, the occlu uh, occlusal plane. It must be in the same line. So uh, that means for the upper photo and for this, for this one. So that means when the patient is in the chair, uh, don't hang over like this to make the picture, but still ask the patient to look at you. So you can stand right up. And use the chair. Use the chair to higher it up and to lower it down, so your back will be straight. So then you don't get the pictures for taken from above or taken from uh, down, from under. Well, what kind of pictures would you take? Should you take? I think at least with every patient, at least these extra oral pictures. Uh, uh, with these three, and I like, it's what I like, uh, perhaps you don't like it at all, but I like to take, that you take a little bit of the shoulder as well. A little uh, photo like this, and a little bit of the shoulder. You can see how the patient uh, stands in front of you. Like some, some people stay like this, and you can, uh, you can see it. If you take just a picture here, it's, uh, that, that point is away. Always, um, uh, I always put the hair behind the ears, that's necessary. So you can focus on the good line from here to there. And a steady background. Don't make the pictures in front of the kitchen. 
so that I can see all what's uh, behind. It's it's no good. You have you must be you you must have rest in your pictures. So take a, uh, a steady background, uh, white or uh, light blue is very uh, often used. It's very good. And these are the uh, intraoral pictures I uh, would like to uh, have mi a minimum. Of course, uh, the both uh, sides, uh, the in front of. Uh, the, the upper jaw and the lower jaw. And perhaps you can uh, always take the, the sixth one to little open the mouth so you have uh, intraoral space so you can see the incisal uh, 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 teeth. The contraster, I, it's very often used also for the sideways so you can have uh, uh, no background, no kitchens uh, in, the, in the back. But black is always good for photography. And this one you've seen. Of course, uh, uh, product photography is very uh, uh, often used in uh, your laboratories, etc. That's very nice to make good, good pictures as well. I often see pictures that I say, wow, it's too far away. Uh, I see the whole uh, laboratory and I see uh, uh, some small cr uh, model with a crown on it or, or whatever. D d dare to try to dare to come as close as possible. Like this, for instance. This is very uh, nice to uh, do, and uh, it, it is possible with the same lens. You don't need another lens at all. It's, it's a macro lens inside. And uh, Milos was here yesterday, perhaps you saw it. He uh, advises the Tokina uh, 100 millimeter, and that's what I work with always, except this one today. Okay, but I have several sets, but the Tokina is very nice. Another, uh, um, I come on locations, they have a, a lens, uh, they have a good camera, but they have a lens of 60 millimeters. And that's no good, you've seen it in that small movie. But it's also another uh, problem you have with uh, 60 millimeters. The distance between the light and the patient is like this, with a 60 millimeter. With a 100 millimeter, it's like this. So you have more distance, and there is more light coming into the mouth. When you are uh, making your pictures like this, a lot of light is going along the side of uh, the face of the patient. So I would advise you, if you have to, uh, to buy a, a set, don't uh, buy less than 85 or 90. 100 millimeter, I uh, would advise to you. And steady, no zoom lens. Video, video is also very coming up. DSD, I mentioned it already. And myself, where's my video camera? Is that in the, in the back? Will you take it for me, please? Uh, you can always, um, you can also film with your DSLR, but if you film with it, thank you, Paula. Okay, it's, it's almost time, she says, okay. Uh, with your DSLR, you can, you can make your movies also from your patient, but if you are uh, doing 30 seconds from your patient like this, uh, you can't keep your arms still. So what do you see when you uh, uh, see the movie back? You see like uh, this, like that. Therefore, I always advise take a different, uh, different kind of video uh, uh, camera. This is a wonderful thing. If you can see it, when it opens, there's a little ball inside. The camera is in a gimbal, what they say. And when I take you like this, I see all, I see all of you. And I move the camera, but you all stay in the middle, no problem. And it's light. You can have a movie from 30 seconds with, of your patients, no problem. So this, I would advise you, take a small video camera. And video is coming up. It's, it's movement. Why should you do it, video? You can see uh, uh, the, the way the patient is standing like this, you can see uh, her movements with lips or whatever. Uh, I don't know if I have the, no, I don't have it. But uh, you can uh, see the, uh, the face moving and, uh, and la laughing, the laughing line, etc. So that's uh, always um, uh, a lot of pictures in one thing. I think I'm uh, almost at the end of my uh, uh, presentation. It's a short part of my uh, 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 lecture I give, or the workshop I give on location. I hope you liked it, and uh, you, when you want to ask me afterwards, I'm still here for about 10 minutes, a quarter, or whatever. Thank you for everything. Thank you for having me and listening to me. Thank you. <laughs>